Hello everyone, this is Vai Shah. Thank you for the opportunity to present our MTech project, developing an ideal wound care platform with a transforming powder that reduces dressing changes. Ultrazeal is made primarily of two polymers that are the same as those used in contact lenses. The material is very safe, biocompatible, and when hydrated, it transforms into a non-occlusive barrier over the wound. The barrier is oxygen permeable, it keeps the wound breathing, it stays moist but it allows the excess moisture to flow through it with vapor transpiration, all the while acting as a barrier to prevent contamination. For more exudative wounds, you can simply add more powder from time to time for up to 30 days without requiring primary dressing changes. As the wound heals, the matrix turns into a scab and just flakes away. And if the matrix needs to be removed, you can simply lift it off with a pair of forceps. The idea is that it's not the dressing that heals, but our body, and the function of the dressing should be to provide a good physiological barrier that allows the body to heal itself without disturbing it with frequent dressing changes. For a small company like ours, it's difficult to deploy the vast resources that are necessary to generate clinical awareness. And this is where MTech's support for funding has been instrumental. By conducting two large multi-center clinical studies in acute and chronic wounds, we're being able to develop the data that will enable UltraZeal's adoption as the standard of care. Since MTech gave us our first award, we have also received funding from the Small Business Innovation Research Program and the Congressionally Directed Medical Research Program. Since we have received the MTech funding, we have also been adopted in a number of large hospital systems. Thank you, MTech, and the Navy Advanced Medical Development Command for funding this project, and to each and every clinician out there that is using UltraZeal to transform habits and impact patient lives. Hemorrhage is the major cause of death following traumatic injury. In such situations, minutes equate to life or death, and hemostats developed for point-of-care application in the combat setting must promote near-immediate coagulation, must be portable, stable at a wide range of temperatures, and be amenable to rapid application. That is, no mixing required to, uh, for any internal or external body surface. With the support of ECM Therapeutics and MTech, we have developed a hydrogel form of mammalian extracellular matrix that can be easily sterilized and packaged in syringe form of any desired volume. With the further support of MTech, we've been able to show that the ECM hydrogel is biocompatible, <coughs> biocompatible as uh, um, indicated by standard uh, ISO 10993 testing. And of equal uh, importance for this application, this hydrogel has bactericidal properties uh, and wound healing, uh, favorable wound healing properties, including uh, immunomodulation. Uh, and the recruitment of endogenous local stem cells. Uh, with the support of an appropriate partner, the ECM hydrogel is ready for clinical testing. Thank you. AugMed is a mobile tactical combat casualty care training software solution enhanced with extended reality. Designed for military combat lifesavers, AugMed uses a blend of augmented, virtual, and mixed reality to bridge the gap between traditional classroom-based learning and hands-on skills training. To date, AugMed has an array of 20 XR scenarios across multiple proficiency levels that can be used with both an AR-enabled mobile device and a head-worn display. When using AugMed, these first responders are immersed and embodied in scenario-based training that brings them to proficiency faster. This learner-centered approach also enables our first responders to access refresher training when they need it to keep their proficiency current. The impact of these AR assessments, which analyze dual adaptation, psychological suitability, and physical perception, are the development of preliminary design guidelines and usage protocols for AR systems. These guidelines and protocols are setting the stage for further research and are being put into practice as the AugMed product line expands and transitions. The greatest impact from this MTech effort is that AugMed is currently being transitioned to operational use and will soon be a safe, accessible, extended reality training solution for all first responders. AugMed provides the tools these first responders need when they need them to be ready to save lives. My name is Adit Gende. I'm an emergency medicine physician from the University of Colorado, and we'll be talking about the SAVO2 trials, which is the strategy to avoid excessive oxygen in critically ill trauma and burn patients. We are working on understanding the best amount of oxygen, supplemental oxygen, to give critically injured 
individuals that can be military or civilian. In the past, we would give critically ill, critically injured patients large amounts of supplemental oxygen. And there's really been a paradigm shift in the science here where even small amounts of extra oxygen may actually be harmful to individuals because it can cause subtle injury to their lungs. In the military context, and what's really driving this project is there's a huge logistical issue. And so that's when we started partnering with the DOD and then got involved in MTech as well uh, through the Combat Casualty Care Research Program. And so what we're doing in this research is determining essentially how low you can go on the oxygen and still at least maintain outcomes. And we think can actually improve um, clinical outcomes for injured patients. We work very closely with the University of Colorado Center for Combat Research. And this is a model system for collaboration between civilian institution and military partners. So this research is actually, you know, it's uh, funded by the DOD through MTech um, and in collaboration with MTech. And, you know, it's mostly civilian institutions, but we have, we, we enroll in San Antonio at the Institute for Surgical Research and at uh, BAMC or Brook Army Medical Center as well. And then we have robust military partnerships to inform that what we're doing has military relevance. It's really important to us. You know, a, a group of civilians in a vacuum are not going to come up with the right solutions for the military. Civilian scientists in collaboration with military scientists and operators and leaders are going to come up with the right answers to be able to solve the toughest medical challenges for the DOD. My name is Anne Germain. I'm a clinical psychologist by training and a recovering academic. I spent many years in academic sleep medicine and eventually got frustrated by how long it's still taking patients to get to the treatments that work. Noctum is an early stage company that combines our expertise in behavioral sleep medicine, digital technology, and data science to develop and test user-centered platforms that are designed to assess, analyze, and optimize sleep in real time and just in time in both clinical and operational settings. The project that we were able to conduct through MTech was entitled Optimizing the Scalability of Evidence-Based Behavioral Sleep Medicine Practices Using Noctum Coast. Coast is our commercial platform to uh, deliver uh, evidence-based uh, sleep recommendations that are highly personalized uh, directly to patients. As I said, the project is just wrapping up. I took a quick peek of the data and I can say that uh, that we are uh, demonstrating clinical effectiveness and that people who are patients, service members who use COAST with their clinicians show uh, clinically meaningful improvements in their sleep within a brief period of four to six weeks. Hi, I'm Dr. Ross Donaldson, an emergency physician and president and CEO of Critical Innovations. We're an ISO 1345 certified small business developing a range of new medical technologies for the Department of Defense, having worked to date on more than 25 different DOD awards from all three military branches. One of those medical technologies is our fast onset abdominal management device, also known as foam, which is currently being developed under breakthrough device designation from the FDA and an MTech award from USAMDA. The foam device is engineered to control non-compressible intra-abdominal hemorrhage when surgical intervention is not immediately available. This rapidly fatal injury is the number one bleeding site amongst potentially survivable combat deaths. Our easy-to-use device includes a novel means for accessing the abdomen with a needle that auto-stops once reaching the abdominal cavity to facilitate deployment. The device then electronically walks the user through deployment of a proprietary blend of foaming polymer into the abdominal cavity. We have performed a series of Acura-approved large animal studies with the device and have demonstrated that in a severe model of intra-abdominal trauma, foam improved survival over 30%, with a number needed to save a life of about four. These studies have also shown device safety with easy, immediate removal if needed for damage control surgery, natural clearance by the body in under a week of subsequent surgery is not required, and an absence of major complications. In summary, we are very thankful for the fantastic program oversight that USAMDA has provided us in conjunction with funding through MTech. We are excited to continue the rapid development of this much needed technology, which will make a massive impact on the injured warfighter. 
My name is Bill Tente, and I'm the Chief Regulatory Officer at Umicite. We are developing regenerative medicine products to treat human diseases. Our lead product candidate is the bioengineered blood vessel known as the human acellular vessel, or the HAV. This product is being evaluated to replace or repair damaged arteries. It is also being evaluated as an arterial venous access for patients with kidney disease. The HAV is produced in an advanced biomanufacturing system. The resulting final product is a biological tube composed mostly of collagen that's free of cells, allowing it to be implanted into anyone. The production system is a fully automated industrial scale bioprocess. HAVs have been shown to be recognized as self by the recipients. This means that there is no immunological rejection and remarkably, the HAVs have been integrated into the adjoining tissue. We've demonstrated that the HAV functions as intended in a variety of anatomical locations and disease conditions. The most remarkable outcomes have been associated with the use of HAVs to repair damage or disease arteries in patients with no available veins to harvest or in cases where the use of a synthetic graft is not warranted due to infection risk. We're proud that the DOD and MTech have shown faith in the HAV and Umicite. Umicite employees go to work every day knowing that warfighters, veterans, and civilians could potentially benefit from a limb and life-saving vascular implant that is readily available off the shelf. This is a compelling challenge that Umicite employees face every day. My name is Becky Cap. I'm the Senior Vice President for Vibridge Global and Chief Operating Officer for GenCure. The mission of Vibridge Global is to save and enhance lives through the healing power of human cells and tissues. And we do that as a collective under three operating units. One of the challenges in the space was that large volumes of a consistent mesenchymal stromal cell needed to be um, manufactured to support tissue engineering and large volume uh, dosing to a broad array of patients. Biobridge Global brought the production uh, capability and environment where we have a history of taking donor material and putting it through a GMP process and back into patients. Um, we've been doing that for about 45 years under our blood banking operation. We have testing capabilities, and this was rounding out cell manufacturing in this new space um, under a GMP environment. I can't emphasize enough how important it was to have the structure that MTech provides for people to work together. If you look at the four organizations who were part of this project, not a single one of us could have executed on it. I think probably full stop. But even if we had put all the money behind it that we needed to, it would have taken much longer to, 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 to accomplish the goal. And so the power of the collaboration that Intech enables, in addition to the funding that, that comes with some of those, those project awards, is incredibly powerful. Developing this capability enabled the acceleration of the development of multiple capabilities, multiple products, and uh, formed the underpinnings of, of a business that we are running here as GenCure. GenCure is now exclusively focused on biomanufacturing. There has been probably three times the amount of investment of the MTech award that have been made into that business because MTech was able to kick that off.